Dr Chang as a former Deputy Prime Minister, but also at a very personal level as someone who was born in the North, what does this moment of hope for peace mean to you? Well, this moment is so exciting that I don't know how to uh, explain my feeling. Uh, but Korean Christians have been praying for peace and unification on Korean Peninsula for years, years, almost 70 years. But speaking honestly without dream or real hope, but now hope is visible, you know. I mean, uh, to us, I don't know whether I can say something about uh, this this change as a deputy, former deputy uh, prime minister, I don't mind. But as a Christian, as a one from North Korea, uh, I can see that the road to the north and to the south is uh, slightly open so that we can develop this road. Six months ago, we seemed to be in a very different place. The world seemed to be preparing for an escalation of the conflict. That's right. That's what do you think was the determining factor in this change of climate? Determining factor? You know, I have a, a phrase which I like. That is, uh, history moves by accident. We never thought it would happen like this. But history moves without human uh, planning or human uh, intelligence, you know, it happened. And as a Christian, I believe in the hands of God's providence. Standards of living are very different in the North and in the South, of course. Ways of life are extremely different. Dr. Lee, what impact do you think reunification will have? How easily will people adapt to this changing political climate? Hmm. I think during the last 70 years of the division and Cold War system, the Cold War consciousness and Cold War culture has been embedded deeply both sides in Korea and Peninsula. I think the, on the basis of the uh, Panmunjom Declaration, which has been the political common ground of the Korean people now, we can have an opportunity to overcome this Cold War consciousness and Cold War culture, uh, cultivating it to the uh, peace consciousness and peaceful culture too. Yeah. The WCC, of course, has been working for several decades on this culture of peace that you're talking about, building trust, building relationships yeah. across the border. Mm -hmm. How important has this work been, do you think, in keeping hopes for peace alive, Dr. Lee? I think during the Cold War period, it has, it has been a forbidden uh, encounter between North and South Christians in a very official way. But the WCC tried to mitigate these two different uh, worlds into one united, uh, I mean, Eucharistic uh, relationship. So the Glion meeting in 1986 was the uh, starting point of the first encounter between North and South Christians, I mean, engaging in as uh, one body of Jesus Christ. Uh, from there, we started Dojanso process until now. Uh, I think the it is now time for us to, to begin again the new chapter of the Dojanso process, which I like to call the Panmunjom process. Yeah. Dr. Chang, what can you tell us about the church in the North today? Church in the North. We cannot tell exactly how the church looks like or uh, exists. But I was in North Korea several times and I visited two or three churches. Uh, they are having Sunday worship. And they, are v they look like very genuine Christians. But also we were told that, we haven't seen it, we were told that there must be some Christians, although they don't go uh, attend the Sunday service. So we expect that uh, when the situation is changed, uh, there will be lots of Christians in North Korea. I, um, I was born in North Korea. Uh, my family is the first family of Christian in my hometown. And I believe there will be churches again. That's my hope and belief.
The Vatican has also been working behind the scenes, hasn't it, to promote peace and reconciliation. How important do you think has the role of the Holy See been in trying to influence the political and religious climate there? Dr. Lee. I think the, when the uh, nuclear crisis is escalating uh, on the Korean Peninsula last year, National Council of Churches, particularly me, actually asked President Moon Jae-in uh, to mediate the role of WCC and Vatican together so that they can take the uh, peace mediator role. I think the Vatican's role is getting more important when we proceed this Panmunjom process, you know, as uh, Christians and religious people who must promote the peace in the world. This Panmunjom process closely related to Ministry of the Vatican and also the WCC as such in the ecumenical movement. Pope Francis is here today affirming that work yeah. and affirming this yeah. closer collaboration between Christians of all the different denominations. What is your message to him, Dr. Chan? Uh, well, uh, the issue of Korean Peninsula is an issue of peace. And the Christian faith is uh, uh, seeking for peace, the whole world and humanity. Therefore, we are very much appreciate that WCC has been accompanying with the Korean Peninsula issue for years, as Dr. Lee suggests, since 1980. And if the uh, Catholic churches joined uh, together with the WCC as a Christian church body, it will bring much effect on the bring peace on Korean Peninsula. I hope so. Pope Francis, of course, has visited South Korea yes. uh, just a few years ago. Mm. Do you think that a papal visit to Pyongyang may be on the cards now? Oh, <laughs> that's our hope. That's our hope. And uh, um, I think, uh, listen to me, in the Pope's height, heart and mind, there is a Korea. <laughs> Dr. Lee. I think since the North Korean government has a uh, very clear will to normalize themselves at the international society. I think they will be soon the uh, Vatican visit to North Korea so that they can also normalize the relationship with the Vatican. Yes. Thank you both. Thank you both very much indeed. Okay. 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 We go. Thank you.